Well, how do that, people? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and I've just jumped into No Man's Sky. I guess I have. And I've got frigates to debrief. Let's go and speak to the frigate owners. I guess. Jump into game. Oh, I am on screenimans. Right, here we go. Let's have a look, see then. Debrief, Commander. Hello there, chum. Right, oh, okay. Now, there are some dialogue entries in here that can be quite cool. Yeah, there we go, look. Ground crew returned from a planet ride house. When orbit orbital hauler passed a large mineral deposit, crew landed, valuable metals extracted. It'd be nice to go away on these away missions and actually see this sort of stuff happen. I've seen stuff in here about Diplo farms and all sorts of stuff in the past, people. Some of them are quite cool, but I think I've seen almost every variant of what might be out there. Oh, I got a salvage frigate module. That's pretty darn freaking awesome. Right, okay. Pretty, pretty rare to get those, to be honest. Anyway, I just did a little save. There you go. Let's go talk to this chappy. Send out my frigates on some more missions. View potential expeditions. But yes, uh, we've got a balanced one there. That's only going to take an hour and 32 minutes. That'll do. Right, oh, pick my ships that I want to send. Oh, they're still sea. Okay, hopefully they're going to go up soon, people inside the view of us. And we'll send a couple of a couple out just to help with that. There we are, two support ships. There we go, we've got a five star, a two star mission. Off you go. Of course, lovely, jubbly. And that's that. That's that taken care of, people. Right, so next off, I'm going to go back to that Viking world that we was on the other day. I'm going to hit up some Echo sort of camps, do some Echo missions, shoot some radial shards or whatever they are, radiant shards, and, um, yeah, pick up some knowledge stones, learn the Viking language. Hopefully we'll be done on this planet soon, people. Anyway, I'll see you there. Ta-da! I have arrived, located at my base. If you didn't see my base, this is my base. It's just a teleporter, and I've got like this. It's like a little gun turret I made out of bits and bobs, I guess. Yep, so that's just a nice little camp, and it's right by um, a trading post, and I built that like last episode. Anyways, so I'm going to just pop my um, Echo Camp locator, I think, people. Let's go do that, then. Chapa! Lovely jubbly. And something I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to change the difficulty to creative mode. Reason being is this is covered in those uh, little shiny pearl things, this planet. Gravitino balls or whatever they are. And there's a good chance I'm going to be attacked by sentinels if I don't. Right, oh. Well, we've found ourselves a camp site. That's our go. Well, let's go on over there then. There you go. Come on then, shipity ship. We've got Echo campsites to go to. I do love these gnarly plants, these ones. They're really cool, aren't they? Anyway, let's uh, shoot on over here. Boom! How far have we got? 40-odd seconds, and it's going up, not down. So I'm going to go up through the atmosphere, up where there's less friction, spin it around, lock onto the Echo camp. It's freaking miles away, people. Miles and miles away from my base. And look, it's still on the night side of the planet. I was really hoping it'd be on the day side so I could show you how glorious this planet looks in daylight. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully, peeps, we're going to have a few different missions to go and fix some autophages as well. Let's land. Why am I doing this? If you're the first, if this is the first time you visited my channel, I'm trying to learn all of the autophage words, which we've got 217 or 250, but I'm fairly sure that's going to change to a new marker. As soon as I hit 250, it probably jumped to 300. Um, and also I need to do some missions to get up to 30. Again, that's probably going to change. It looks like I've got the highest medal achieved over here with standing, which is pretty good. But yeah, I need to get another load of these Radiant Shards because I need to get up to 25 and I need to fix some autophages. So that's what we're doing. We're upping our ranking with these autophages and we're learning the words for a simple reason that Hello Games have said that there's ARGs part three and four yet to come. And I'm wondering whether we might need to know the full language to understand the full ARG clues. So, yeah, I, I'm doing all this just because I've got, I've, I haven't got i got much else to do inside of the game. But not only that, I am I am a big law buff. I do love the law. So I need to go to practice of language. Then choose re request dialect help. And the hero teach me a word. Lovely. Thank you for teaching me the word. 
But then I'm also going to them, and I'm just going to offer assistance and seeing what mission they've got. Collect rusted metal. Now, because I'm in creative mode, I have got all the rusted metal. In fact, all the rusted metal is still inside of my exosuit. Look, there it is. There, I've got the rusted metal. But in creative mode, I don't have to part with those commodities. So, but he thinks I've already got all the rusted metal for him, so I can just go over and hand it in. Mission accomplished. A lot of these missions are fetch quests. Now, I have done a load of them legitimately, um, but then it, it, they're very repetitive. It's either chromatic metal, rusted metal, go kill sentinels, fix an autophage. There is probably about a pool of about 12 missions that you can do, and none of them are all that exciting. There we go. Request dialect help. Lovely jubbly. Technology symbol. What word have I learned this time? The word for research. I guess. Now, I can also give them a radiant shard. I've got a load of radiant shards. There you go. That's going to up my standing with them. And then I'm just going to pick up the mission, which is either going to teach me two or three words and uh, give me some moats. Collect rusted metal yet again. See? Yeah. Imagine doing that a few times. Okay, got to wait a second. Now I can visit him. There you go. He made the noise. There you go. And that's going to give me three words of the autophage. Pretty darn nice. So I visited that one, visited that one. And neither of them gave me a mission to fix an autophage. Let's go and speak to this chap. Let's hope he gives me the mission to fix an autophage. He's got a multi tool in his hand. It does make me wonder if we might have to do combat with these guys at some point. I don't think we will. But, you know, it could be on the cards. Request dialab to help. Teach me a word, autophage. Yes. Samples. Okay. Got you. Going over again. Might as well give him some alantium. Up my standing slightly. And then do his mission. Not for assistance. Salvage starship components. Now, that would be a git, wouldn't it? One, I haven't got no free slots in my starships. Uh, let's do that then. I was a little bit quick again. There you go. There's the noise. Done. There we go. We've done all the missions. We've done all these autophages. So I wonder if I can just find another autophage camp. Because I haven't been lucky this time to get any repair autophage. Hopefully it'll find me another one, people. Now, I'm going to go to the other camp. I'm going to do the same thing again. And if I get any repair autophages, I'll let you know. Well, I've arrived located at this camp and it's a lot freaking bigger. Something I've noticed though, there's some radiant shards just on yonder hill. Uh, well, they were quite close as I was flying in. I saw some. I saw some that were really close. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to go there because I, I, I saw some. Heck yes. So I need to get some radiant shards. Look, there's a freaking ton of them there. I don't know why they didn't show up on my freaking scanner seconds ago. Anyway, let's just head over here. Change to my... Lovely, lovely runic lens. There we go. Boom. Radiant shards for me. Well, that's land. Oh, okay. Not all of them were radiant shards. They just look like radiant shards. That's probably a radiant shard right there, though. We'll head there, people. And I'm also looking for knowledge stones while I'm on my little travels around people to learn these Viking words. Then we will go back to that camp, and I will look to see if there's any autophages for repair. But I'm just going to get a couple more radiant shards, because we've got quite a lot that we need to catch up on that one. The weird thing is, I'm, I'm fairly sure I got tons of radiant shards in my time inside of this new update. And for whatever reason, it's been baselined when they put in this um, new update. Okay. Well, when they put in the whole faction ratings, I think it baselined everybody's, perhaps. I don't know. Let me know. Did you manage to keep hold of yours, or did yours get baselined as well? Back down to zero for the standing on these guys. There we go. We've got that in. Are you radiant shards? You are. So sometimes I'm finding the radiant shards don't always show up as they should on the old map, the old doohickeys. There's another knowledge stone over there. Might go and hit that one up as well. And if there's any radiant shards on the way... Hit those two people. So yeah, I like to mix it up a bit. I don't like to do the same thing over and over. I do like to try and vary my day inside of No Man's Sky at this end game sort of content. Now, you're probably thinking a lot of end game content in games usually gets quite sort of challenging. No Man's Sky really isn't that sort of game. It's, 
I mean, there has been challenges to some degree. I mean, another thing of end game content is getting this multi tool that I've got right here and getting it up to an S class, which I've already done and getting it all tricked out, which I feel I've done to the best of my ability, or I don't really want to do too much more. And another end game thing is there's another multi tool that you can get, which is this wizardy type stuff. And again, I've already upgraded this and done everything that I want to do to this one. You can see that this one, the damage potential is far higher than my multi-tool. The scanner range isn't as good, but that's just the way it is. So, yeah, I, I feel I've done everything that's more of a challenge. And now this is the sort of the not so challenging bit. So this is the bit that's just sort of like lots of busy work, lots of leg work. It's a bit of a grind. And I don't feel I'm learning anything new here, people. But there we go. Let's um, hit this up then. And let's head on over to this chappy over here. Hello there, mate. Oh, look, there's an autophage there. I wonder if just interacting with the autophages is going to work. That was a strange freaking noise, wasn't it? And that. Have they added in new sound effects for the autophages? I think they might have done, people. I don't always wear my headset, so I don't know how long that's been going on for. Hello there, chappy. Anyway, I practice language. I learned the language first, because if you pick up the mission, if you pick up the mission, sometimes you will go to interact with them. It just brings up the mission data. So it's hard to actually learn a word until you've done the mission, if you do it the other way around. There you go. Let's, uh, let's uh, offer assistance then. Repair lost autophage. Good. That's the mission that we want. Let's see if we can get a few more of those. Okay, I'm going to go around and I'll let you know how many I get. Okay, chums, whenever I accept a mission for Repair Lost Autophage, listen to the change in tone in music. Okay. Um, that sounded kind of ominous, didn't it? That does not sound jolly, merry, or fun in any way, shape, or form. That sounds a little bit... You're going to die type music you know what i mean anyway we've got three three repair autophage missions so i'm gonna go to three other autophage camps okay chums here's an autophage to actually fix and when you fix these guys yes they make a few new sounds boom 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 but this also sounds quite ominous too hold on that's new I haven't seen an autophage do that before. I'm going to take a freaking picture of that. I have no idea what that's all about. I'm going to stick that on the old Twitterverse. Just in case, that is something that hasn't been seen before. Maybe I'm not alone on this one. Maybe it has been seen before. But that's a bit freaking weird. 237, what the fudge is that all about? There you go. The ninth. Cool. I mean, I could just use that as a screenshot, to be honest. But now that I've done that, what I can do is scan, bring up more of these little chaps, and see if they give me any um, missions to repair autophages. Yeah, can do. There you go. Might as well practice some language with them. There you go, mate. Give me a word. Any word? We'll do. There's a lot of words to be learned. <laughs> Offer assistance. Replay lost auto page. There we go. And that's going to send me to another camp. And then when I get to that camp, I might get more. And it seems to be quite continuous. It snowballs. You can end up doing this all freaking day if you really wanted to, people. But obviously, I don't really want to do that. I'm doing a fair few per day. I'm not going to town on it or else, you know, you just get mind numbed. There we go. Travel symbol. Thanking you. Oh, hold on, chums. There might not be anything in that uh, ominous music, people. Because it seems to be whenever I accept or complete any mission from these guys, not just the fixing of autophages, it pays. It plays freaking ominous music. So here we go. Look, I'll show you what I mean. Offer assistance. Collect paraffinium. Start mission. There you go, look. Still makes the ominous music. All right? So I don't think there's anything in that. I think I'm barking up the wrong tree there, people. Uh, this is the first time I've wore headphones for a while and playing this. There you go. Done. And uh, we've completed their missions. How many repair autophage missions do I actually have now? Yeah. Two. Two there. And two there. I've got four to freaking go, mate. Okay. Fair enough. Well, they look like freaking radiant shards to me. They're probably not, though. Lantium. Atlantium. Atlantium. Dang it! Atlantium. 
An Atlantium. Oh, there's one Radiant Shard amongst those ones. Okay, well, you know, I might go and hit up a few more Knowledge Stones um, just to break this monotony up slightly. Uh, so where's the, where's where's a Knowledge Stone? Knowledge, Knowledge, Knowledge Stone. Where are you? Now, it's not showing any in near proximity, but I know that this freaking planet is laden. Laden with Knowledge Stones, okay? So let's head towards that Radiant Shard. And I bet you, before I get to 400 metres or 400 U's of that... I find myself a knowledge stone. I have no idea why they're not showing up on the poxy scanner. It's like they prioritise whatever they feel they want to prioritise. But yeah. Okay, maybe not then. Well, that's weird. Normally, I'd come across a freaking shed ton of thinking knowledge stones. Huh. How strange is that? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. I'll let the game be on this one then. Oh, that. There's one. No, it's not. It's near of corn. All right. Well, where's that radiant pillar? There, there, there they are over there. Radiant shards. Let's head on over there then. Let's pop them. Hiya! Hiya! So the ones with the sentinels on them, they don't count. We're well, fine. They just give you adelantiums. Okay. Well, I can see at least two amongst those then. I wonder if there's some little chaps hiding around this post. And there's no smoke, so I don't think there is. I'll just pop it anyway. No, there's not. Pow! Pow! Atlanteums. Atlanteums. Okay, any knowledge stones around here, then? Well, this is weird. There was loads of knowledge stones. I mean, you guys saw there was knowledge stones where I last was. Uh, I, that's... Really, 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 really strange. Really, really strange. Okay. Very odd. Very odd indeedy doody. Oh, look, there's one right there. Oh, look, it has got an icon by it now. There we are. I was finding, like, there's another one on the hill just there. Now they're started to appear again. How strange is that? Let's see, there's another one there. Normally, they're in jumping distance from each other, Knowledge Stones, on this planet. Uh, okay. Alright, well, maybe not then. Maybe I was just lucky in the first zone I was in for Knowledge Stones. Now, they seem to be a little bit rarer. Radiant Shard over this way. Fuck yours. I can just call my ship anyway, so even if we go off the beaten track a bit, doing this for a while, I'll just call my shippity ship in. And everything will be fine and dandy. There's a lot of radiant shards on this planet, though, isn't there? You know? Heck yes. Blasting these, getting a shed ton of Atlanteums. Okay, right. Any more knowledge stones around near me now? Not, not overly, to be honest. There isn't, is there? Very bizarre. But we've got loads of radiant shards just over there, so I'll go zap them. Meow. Dream a dream. Hiya! Take that, all of you. There's some more just over here. Heck yes! Captain Steve! Chickapow! You're gone! Okay, any knowledge stones now then? Because before I was doing knowledge stone, radiant shard, knowledge stone, radiant shard. Now I'm not seeing the knowledge stones for that little leapfrog. Heck no, I'm not. Very odd. Okay, well, loads of radiant shards over there. Meow. Any knowledge stones that I'm flying past? No. Very strange. Okay, well, let's zap this then. Boom, you're gone. There's a knowledge stone. It does show an icon, so... Oh, look, I found an autophage just sitting out here in the wild. Just by sheer freaking chance and fluke. All right, fine. We go there. Repair that autophage. Be pretty darn nice. Holy fudge, see that? There's a giant archive over there. We can learn loads of Viking words at an archive. We'll head to that archive in a moment, people. I'm just going to go down... Oh, that's not an auto... Oh, it is an auto page. There we go. There's two of them. Okay, cool. Well, we'll have that. We'll have the rusted metal, mate. 
There you go. Now some Elantium, my friend. And there's a second one here, look. There's two of them. Can I interact with both, though? No. I can only interact with one. How bizarre is that? Okay, anyway, we're heading over to this lovely place. I wonder if there was any um, hidden chappies there. Let's have a quick little scan. Hiya! Holy fudge! Got loads of echo seeds popped in then. The people wouldn't see that. That was pretty darn cool, wasn't it? Sweet! Okay. Anyway, we're heading over to the old um, doohickey over here. Chow! Yep, I'll see you at the Colossal Archive, people in the view of us. Right, hey, well, I've arrived, Coated. At this Colossal Archive. So all I'm going to do now is go around these chaps. A bit like what I've been doing with the Autophages, apart from not going to do any of their missions. We're just going to go there, and we're going to do a request, a dialogue, and help, or whatever. There we go. We've only got three in the list right now, so I'm going to hit up Travel Symbol. So we visited that one, and the next one. Hello there, Chappie. Quest dialect help. Oh look, it's now down to two. It's down to two, so we're, we're getting there. We've nearly exhausted all the dialogue of the Viking peeps. This is awesome. Here we go. Quest dialect help. Mystery symbol. There's only one now. There's only one option that they're giving me. Am I going to get nothing learned very soon? Exciting stuff, I know, right? That the word for yes, they agree. Hello there, matey. Uh, I, I don't want to recruit you. No, no, you're not having my weapons terminal. Fudge and hack. Boom. Quest our leg help. Oh, ignore. Okay, fine. I just ignored that last guy. I guess. What else we got? Come on. Dialect help? Is it going to be the last one? Alone. Okay, I think there's one more up here. Hello there, chap. Are you going to teach me the last word of Vikeen? Correct. No. Okay, well, we've got some lore to hit up here, too. Which is pretty cool. I do like the archives. But I think we're getting quite, quite low. The Viking Archives... Okay, we'll go for combat then. Granted, Decrypt Archive. Here we go, the last testament of Herc. The lie, the dark star, the vast oceans, my friends. The moon rises, gra, the deep cries within the morning of machines. Gra on Diondar. Night falls without its people. The Diondar will come back. I will come back. I will not leave you. I will never leave you. I will remember. Okay. Well, ominous text from the past, I guess. Right, so I've done all these guys. Sometimes there's some on this mezzanine. There's not in this case, though. Dang it! Have I visited you? No. Are you going to teach me a word? Sweet. We've learned the word for hopes. Well, I hope that we manage to exhaust all this dialogue fairly soon. Hello, buddy. You, can you teach me a word? There we go. We've got the word for fun. Now, I could hit up monoliths. Monoliths are going to teach me three words at a throw, which will get it done fairly darn quick. I could do that. I could hit up a monolith. Now, the easiest way to find a monolith, like, super quick, is I've actually got a translocator on my actual starship there that lets me call in any of the exocrafts that I have. So, if I go into here, exocraft, bring down this one. Inside of my Nomad, I've installed a scanner, and that scanner lets me search, for you've guessed it, monoliths. So we found an ancient monolith. Where are you, monolith? It's just there. It's going to take me 15 minutes on foot. It's not going to take me 15 minutes by ship. I'm going to aim my ship towards the monolith. And then I'm going to fly to said monolith. I'm going to cut that 15 down, minutes down to seconds, chums. 
Take to the skies! This is going to teach me three words, and I'm hoping this area that I'm going to is going to have even more of those knowledge stones around near it in the general wild vicinity, because I was finding frickin' shed tons of knowledge stones where I was originally, near to my base, but obviously I've hit up all of those now. So let's just land here, let's have a little look-see around here. And it looks like there's some more radiant shards to be had here as well, people, just over that hill that I saw as I was landing. Let's go and interact with these, then. We've learned the word for toxins. Endless. Okay. There should be one more on this other corner all the way over here. There we go. Loss. Now, sometimes doing the puzzles of the atlas, sometimes they can reward you with, with words, but it's a rarity. You didn't always learn an atlas word, but I've already learned all the atlas words. At least I think I've learned all the atlas words. I don't think they've added any more in. Here we go, let's see what happens. Standing increased. Any words, any words? No. Okay, well, there we go, people. Let's have a look if there's any knowledge stones nearby, because I think we're nearly completed. All of the words of the Viking. Or if we haven't, we should be getting close. But no, I'm not seeing any knowledge stones icons. In oh, hold on, I tell a light, there's one right there. I guess. Just jumping over here then. Let's go and hit on up this knowledge stone. But yeah, I think that's now my new sort of a driver at the moment. It's just to see if I can exhaust the knowledge of the Viking. Now that we're down to just one word, one set of words left to know. The mystery word set. Sends. Okay. Fine. And they're not in alphabetical order, so going by the first letter doesn't really give you anything. There's another knowledge stone over there. 240-odd years. It's a shame you can't train your scanner on what you're after. Is that a radiant shard there? I think it is. We'll have that. Hiya! And then just lock into those things that you're after, you know? So if you want to find another one of these, maybe you just hit scan and then press another button on it or something. Like, I know you can tag it. But it'd be nice if you could do something else, you know? Right, oh. Any other knowledge stones? So when it's tagged, maybe it comes up with others. Look, oh, there, that's the that's the monolith one. We've already hit up that knowledge stone. We might have already done that one. Again, things that you visited. I wish it would remove markers, you know? So. Anyways, yeah. I don't think I'm going to find any more around this location. I'd head over there. It looks like some radiant shards over here. Zap! 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 I think we're doing quite well on the old Radiant Shards front now, people. Let's go into the old catalogue, see how we're getting on with the Autophage tree. Yeah, look at that. I've nearly hit 50 on, the, on there. We've nearly hit the 250 on the Autophage words as well. We're doing quite good. We're doing quite swimmingly. All right. Anyway, I'll be right back with you once I've... um found a few more knowledge stones and things or if i find anything interesting worth reporting well there people in the view of us i've hit on up a freaking shed ton shed ton of uh, knowledge stones and it's still giving me viking words so i've gone back to the autophage camp and i'm hoping to turn in this last autophage mission at least i thought i was at an autophage camp to do that um there they all are none of them have got the mission above their head Oh, actually, it looks like I've already blinking done it. All the missions have been turned in. I've repaired a load of autophages. Let's just uh, go here and just make sure I... Hold on. Maybe I'm fixing an autophage, not turning in the mission. Getting confused, people, with the amount that I've had. There we go. Let's fix that one. But let's have a look at my old stats now. Let's, ha let's see how I'm doing in the way of relationship with these chappies. So we go, autophages. I've now completed 12 of 15. It feels like I've done a heck of a lot more than that, but apparently not. I've now got to reach 100 of the freaking shards. So I've done a heck of a lot this episode because I think I was in single digits before, wasn't I? And it looks like I'm becoming fairly fluent in the languages learned. Um, 
but now we've got to get up to 350 we've got over the 250 that was there before so we're doing quite well emissions as well when we're approaching the 50 mark so we're doing fairly good in that stead where are we with the viking languages learnt holy fudge 894 words learnt it's going to top the 900 isn't it what it will do in another six freaking words anyway people let's go on up to my freighter and see if we're ready to you know debrief our little frigate guys i guess let's go do that i'll see you on board right oh hello there matey it looks like i can because there's an icon and it is green hey girls let's go on over then let's do some debriefing debrief commander uh we got cry ray prump albion pearls and that's it not much going on there peeps right oh well let's go and speak to this chappy let's see if we can find ourselves a new missione hello there bud yeah and view potential expeditions Right, well, I might as well hit on up a free hour two star one now, because, yeah, I'll be picking this back up tomorrow morning for my cup of tea before work, and we're going to be picking up... Oh, look! One of them's now a B class, so we've got only one C remaining, which is good to see. Hey, girls, and I'll send out my highest minor, which will be that one, I guess. That should do the trick. There we are. Hey, girls. And they're off. Right, well, you know what, people? Because I've sort of explored the heck out of that planet now i'm going to try and find another dissonant viking system yeah i know that's a little bit um it's a little bit niche isn't it so if i go for life form and any of the red ones are viking i'm just looking for a red one that says dissonant um, rather than water so let's uh, see if we can find one water oh we've got a dissonant good uh Corvax there so this might take me a little while to find a dissonant viking system but i will find one and i will warp there and we'll do a scan of the planets and we'll see what dissonant one comes back for us oh here we go viking dissonant we've found two next to each other there lovely okay arrived located let's head on up here then let's go scan and see what we've got in this system Right. Okay, well that's sub zero idiom. So we're going to go to a cactus flash planet. Well, that mixes it up a little bit, doesn't it? And this one looks like it hasn't got water on, and it's quite a small planet. When you've got quite a small planet, hopefully it's going to put everything closer together. So I'm hoping it's going to have a lot more knowledge stones in closer proximity. And hopefully, next episode, people, hopefully we're going to finish the Viking language set. That's my mission for next episode, people. Hope you've enjoyed this one. See you for the next one. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.